Guys, honestly, this is one of my all-time favorite Black Mirror episodes. So I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. Yeah, love it. I'm going to jump into this. And I know we have to tiptoe around a lot of stuff. But the moment this episode ended, which I think is one of the most shocking Black Mirror endings ever, my first thought was, what happens next? So I am curious, as actors, how often do you guys wonder what happens to your characters? Do they live on in your mind? Or does the story stop for you when it stops for us? It depends on what happens to your character maybe, <laughs> in the show. I, yeah, I don't know. Josh, take it away. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I assume that David and Cliff, you know, develop a very loving and trusting relationship after this. But even, I guess, outside of Black Mirror, just, just as yeah. actors in general, how often do you worry or do you think about any of your characters after, after they stop? I don't. <laughs> Not really. I mean... Um, I, unless you're playing a real someone that is real, um, you know, then then it's a different thing. But um, yeah, I usually when, when when something's done, it's usually for me, it's sort of like you close that chapter and then um, you get to, you know, think about it a year later when it's coming out and, and reminisce about about those, you know, that character then. I'm more of a yearning type. Like I'm always thinking about it. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, God. We could have done so much better because I know he's heading in this direction. <laughs> yeah, I feel for my, my character's bad choices. I honestly, your character is going to live on in my brain for a long time. Um, you know, sometimes what I, what I kept forgetting while watching the episode, uh, and honestly, when speaking to the two of you together is, and correct me if I'm wrong, you don't actually have a scene together in this episode, but it really feels like you do because of what happens. You're two actors who need to feel like you're together, even though you're not. So how do you familiarize yourself with an actor that you don't actually share a scene with? Uh, how, well, you don't really. Um, because also it's this interesting um, balance because obviously we are, we're supposed to be in a, in a lot of scenes together, but also I never uh, physically, physically see him. So um, I think maybe not, really working together benefits you as well or ben benefit maybe it benefits me um but it's a weird it's it's odd it's an odd thing i've definitely never had that experience before <laughs> yeah no i mean as far as as far as i'm concerned i i i just had to watch it through like gritted teeth cuz aaron's impersonation of me was not very nice <laughs> <laughs> He's so charming. Okay, so I'm going to cut you guys loose on this. I think, and this is a bit of a, a weird question, but I hope you'll roll with me because I think we would all be fascinated with seeing the world from the perspective of the body, the eyes of another person. If you could inhabit the body of the other person in this chat, what would your day look like? Who would you spend your time with? What would you do? Who would you be? Oh, oh. Hmm. What, might, oh. what would your day be like if you were me, kid? <laughs> Well, I actually think our days wouldn't be that dissimilar because we both have kid, a lot of kids. So, yeah. you know, uh, I guess the only the, the biggest difference is where we live. I'm in Los Angeles and you're in England. So uh, maybe be fun. Are you on a farm? Yeah. 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 So I would be in heaven because I, I that's that's my happy place. Um, uh, well, you're yeah. welcome to come down at any time. I my know. Happy, I gotta make it out there. I'm an urban person, so why don't we just do like a oh, like yeah. a little Freaky Friday swap, and <laughs> I'll come live your life for a little bit. You come live mine. I think you and you and Jamie, my husband, would have a really good time. So there you <laughs> we, go. We'd have a great time, and uh, Tams is fun too. You'll have a great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for this to happen. Thanks for suggesting it. Yeah, I feel you. like I just created like a really special friendship right here at the end of our junket interview. Yeah, definitely. Uh, guys, uh, thank you for, for being patient. This, this is a hard episode to, to ask questions for without ruining anything for anyone. So I appreciate you guys having fun with me, but seriously, this is one of the all time, like top black mirror episodes ever. So I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to do this today. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jake. All right. Take care guys. Oh, we're going, we don't need roads.